I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to Larkgasm. So today I'm going to be cleaning up some Nerf guns. Um, I thought I'd just show everyone how I do it. Um, one thing that's a pet peeve of mine is when I go online I see people selling all these awesome modded Nerf guns and these painted Nerf guns for LARPs, but they still have the logo showing through the great paint jobs. I mean, if you're going to take all that time to paint the gun, why would you not grind off these logos and take the time to remove these from the weapon. What you end up with is a really nice looking gun and these stupid logos showing through. It looks terrible. So what I do is I grind them off. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do it. What I use is a Dremel with this tip. Um, they also make metal tips. Sometimes I use the metal ones, but this one seems to give a little bit more control. That one's kind of dull, so it's about time to get a new one. You can also use files small ones, big ones, and of course sandpaper to really get it smooth if you need to, but I find that usually using the Dremel will get it smooth enough. Uh, as far as actually doing the job, you're going to want to make sure that you have a long sleeve shirt. It's the middle of July, I'm in a garage, I'm sweating my ass off, okay, but you got to do this. Long sleeves, pants, and a hat. If you have an apron, get one. If you don't, steal one from grandma. You're going to want to have it. And uh, if you have a mask and, you know, it's cool enough, you may want to wear that mask or a respirator, but definitely safety glasses or goggles. If you skip everything else, I say, make sure you wear glasses because hot pieces of plastic will fly directly into your eyes every single time without fail. It hurts like hell. All of this is the result of trial and error over years of doing this. So, once you have all your safety gear on, you're gonna go ahead and get your Dremel, you'll plug it in. I highly suggest doing this outside. If you have an actual work area where you can set up a vacuum and just have it you know, suck the debris directly into it, oh, that's great. I wish I had a setup like that here. In fact, actually, if it wasn't so lazy, I could probably set up a setup like that, but I just don't feel like it because it's just gonna be faster for me to do this. By the time I did that setup, I could already have all these guns done, so forget that. What I have, is an air compressor. <laughs> so when I'm done, I'm just gonna blow compressed air all over myself, get all those chunks off. I'm gonna blow it on the guns, clean them off so they're not dusty. And then if I need to, you know, I'll just wipe them with water real quick and they'll be good to go. And then if I decide to paint them, you know, they'll be ready for paint basically. I, at least you'll see how I sort of clean these up. Hopefully it's not too boring. And, uh, yeah, I mean, and then they died and, uh, you know, basically the, the car was over the cliff and, you know, we threw the guns in the bushes and I never saw the people again. It was pretty wild. Um, but basically, I mean, that's why, you know, you don't go to South America unprepared. I mean, just crazy story. I'm glad, uh, glad I could share that with you. But, um, you know, this isn't coming off real easy. So the other sticker came off real simple. Uh, but this one, I'm going to grind off because it's kind of stuck on there. But this is a Busby, not a Nerf. But um, it has very little graphics and markings on it. So really, you just got to grind this off. I've been looking for one of these. Actually, I wanted the double barrel shotgun. But this rifle is pretty cool. It has its own little cartridges that go in there. And then it kicks them out. Um, it's sort of impractical. And you definitely lose the cartridges at night at a LARP. But it's still fun. And I think it looks interesting. Um, I may take and hacksaw this off here, but we'll have to see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to grinding on this. All right, so luckily I have an outlet out my driveway here, so I can plug this in so I don't make a mess inside, which is good. Uh, if you don't have one of these, I suggest getting one or an extension cord. So all I'm gonna do with this gun is I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Oh, by the way, you should invest in some gloves. If you can't get latex ones, just any glove should work. But we'll go ahead and start grinding on this. And I think you'll get the idea.
<clears throat> Whatever, it's a little bit of sandpaper. Probably hit it with a little bit finer grain sandpaper, but that's all removed. So it's just that easy. I would say, on average, just takes me about five to ten minutes per gun. So I mean, in an hour, you know, you can tear through, you know, just a ton of weapons. You could do maybe a dozen of them once you get it down. If they're easy guns, they don't have a lot of stuff on them, like this gun. Uh, man, I could maybe do 20 of these in an hour, no problem. If it's <clears throat> something a little more complex like this. I mean, I got these deep logos. I got this, I got all this crap. I got this, I got this deep logo here, this. I mean, there's just crap literally all over this gun. I'm actually really excited about this gun. I never saw this gun before. That's a uh, dark tag gun. It has like an internal clip, uh, which I think is awesome. Uh, stuff like this, where it says Max on here, I usually leave those on there because uh, that's not hurting anything. And also, a lot of the guns have like access doors and stuff. So things that you know I feel make the gun seem cooler, I leave on there. Like for this, um, this will come off of there. But this Max will stand here. And these are so deep, these things, that I will probably just leave those on there and turn them into some sort of design. Um, but like this Nerf here, that's gonna be a pain to get off. And I have two of these guns. I'm not looking forward to doing them, but I really want to use these guns because I think they're awesome so I'm gonna do one of these next okay so after it's done and sanded nice and smooth on all these surfaces now you may say oh but Max that looks like shit well a lot of this plastic is textured, so when you sand it, you know, you're never gonna get it to be perfect. This is a, you know, a, a five footer. So it looks good from five feet. You get up close, you'll start to notice those flaws. But you know what? If this is for a post-apocalyptic LARP, who the hell wants it to look good anyways? It should look jacked up. So when you paint this, if you're gonna rough it up, use these areas that are already jacked up to be your rough patches. So if you're gonna apply some sort of texture or some sort of patina or something, use these bad areas to do that. Um, you know, pretty much, you know, like I said, man, I really, I really like these guns. It's got this door on it, you know, this internal mag. I'm really digging this gun. Um, I hope it shoots far. I am going to pull it apart. And I'm going to do minimal paint on it because it's already gray. So I'm going to touch up these areas I jacked up with a, like a bluish gray mixture. You have to play at the paint to get it right. And then the yellow parts, I'm going to paint probably black or maybe silver. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this for post-apocalyptic or if I'm going to use it for cyberpunk. So if it's cyberpunk, it'll probably go silver. I'll probably hit this with some sort of neon or red. If it's going to be post-apocalyptic, then it'll be gray on black, and this will probably be red. Um, depending on your LARP, sometimes you have to leave these orange. So these are usually a separate part, so they're real easy to take out and not paint and then just put back in. If your LARP doesn't give a shit, paint these damn things so that the gun looks way cooler. So hopefully this video is helpful. Um, I know there's a bit of talking in it um, and you know not a lot of action, but really this is more or less a you should know this type of video. I mean, Dremel, sandpaper, take the logos off. People on Etsy that sell these Nerf guns that are repainted, man, take the five minutes, take these freaking logos off. If you live in an apartment or something, I get that that's gonna be difficult for you. But if you have space, take these things off before you sell them because it just cheapens the whole thing. You want me to spend $100, $200 on a modded, painted Nerf gun? Man, I can buy these for a dollar at a yard sale, spray paint them for $2 and have the same product, okay? That's three bucks. And mine look better because they have no logos on them. Take the time, put in the due diligence. When you show up at your LARP, if you have a spray painted black weapon with no logos, you're already ahead of the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, like the video, and until next time, adventure on. Bilbo. Hmm? Here. This is about your size. Hmm. I, I, I can't take this. But the receiver is elvish make which means it'll glow blue when there's orcs or goblins nearby.
I've never used a gun in my life. And I hope you never have to. But if you do remember this, true courage is not about knowing when to take a life, but when to take all of them. <laughs>